How much difference is there between the ball that you would practice with, a range ball, and a premium ball that you're more likely to play with? Because there's plenty of ranges now offering the data from the shots that you're hitting using flight scope range, trackman range, pro tracer, etc. So how much should you read into that data? Let's find out. Okay, so we're gonna go with the Pro V1X first, then we'll switch to the range ball. I'm gonna hit kind of four balls with each club. I'm gonna use a pitch and wedge, seven iron and driver. Like I said, hit four balls with the range ball and the Pro V1X and see if there's any discrepancy in the numbers. See if you really wanna be taking any notice of range balls at ranges that are offering you that data. So pitch and wedge first with the Pro V1X. Quite catch that. 128 carry, 129 total, 9264 on the spin. These are the numbers that I'm interested in. I'm interested in carry, total, and spin rate. A little bit more like it. 134, 134, 9279 on the spin rate. 139, 140. 8482. Shot number four. A bit straighter. 140, 142. 8094 on the spin rate. Let's switch to the range ball and see if there's any real difference. Right, range ball. Let's see what you've got. 135 carry, 139. 6606 on spin, so just a little bit lower on the spin rate there. That's the first thing to take notice of. Carry yardage doesn't seem unlikely. 35, 138, 76 on spin. So again, spin rate down a little bit. But yardage wise, that's kind of where I am, about the 135 mark on average with a wedge. Like that, great. 133, 140, 5103 on spin. So I think we can say with some degree of certainty that this range ball is spinning less. 139, 143, 6417 spin. Taking a look at the pitching wedge there, so this was with the Pro V1X, got 135 carry, 136 total on average with a spin rate of 8,780. If we just go and have a look at the range ball data, at 136 carry, so just a fraction further, 140 total, so a little bit further than the Pro V1. Spin rate is down there at 6453. So there's a big difference in the spin rate, but the actual carry number isn't all that different. You could probably take some notice with the wedges down at the range. So let's shift to the seven iron. Let's see if there's any differences in this data set. 173 carry, 178 total, 6371 spin. Pretty close to my usual averages. 174, 178, 6563. 71, 180, 5472. 75, 180, 62, 15. Right, four balls with the range ball. So it feels softer. 171 carry, 180 total, 4874 on the spin. So Again, it's the first shot I know, but the spin is a little bit lower than what it was with the Pro V1. Didn't quite catch it. 166, 177, 48 on spin. that well. 167, 177, 171 on spin. So it's spin a little bit high that time. Nine one seven nine four eight on spin. Looking at the data with the Pro V1X for the seven iron, one seven three 
average carry, 179 average total, with an average spin rate of 6,155. Now let's switch to the range ball 7-iron. 168, 177, with a spin rate of 5425. Now all of those data numbers are down on the Pro V1X, so we're starting to see a little bit of a discrepancy here now. Its club speed was slightly higher actually with the range ball, but the distance and the carry number is a little lower, so is the total, as is the spin rate. Right, big stick time. This is the one that all the testosterone filled males are interested in when we're done with the driving range. Is there going to be any difference between these Pro V1s and the range ball? Ooh, bit of a pull. 271 carry, 294 total. 2683 on spin. It's very close to my usual averages. A little bit low on the face, that. That wasn't my best strike. 256, 279, 3151 spin. Let's hope we can get a better strike on this one. Brilliant. 257, 28 total. 3140 on spin, so that's a little bit higher on the spin for me. It's most likely what's sapping those few yards off me. It's more like it. 272 to carry, 294 total, 2465 on spin. Now for the really interesting part, range ball with driver. Is there any difference? Let's find out. 250 carry, 273 total, 3229 on spin. Didn't feel that bad off the first, but the efficiency is really quite small on that one. Struck that pretty well. 252, 269, 3393 on spin. Yeah, we're starting to see some differences now. 249, 274, 3186 on spin. Not a bad strike again, really. Right, last ball of the video. Struck really well. 244, 268, 3153 spin. Looking at the driver data for the Pro V1X, this is maybe just a little bit under what I'd normally expect. Not my best set of balls. 264 carry, 287 total. 106 miles an hour of club speed, which really on a flight scope is more like nearly 110 really. Efficiency 1.48, 2860 spin. Now let's take a look at the range ball data. 249 carry, 271 total, 106.7 club speed, 1.42 efficiency, so not very good. 3240, so there's just not the energy being transferred from the club into the ball using the range ball. There's a big difference there. So looking at the data for the Pro V1 and the range ball, there wasn't a great deal of difference in the carry yardages when it came to the wedge and maybe even the mid iron, but when we got to the driver, there was a big chasm started to open up between these two golf balls' performances. So down the driving range, I'd probably take notice of everything, maybe up until you're kind of getting into your hybrid clubs, and then I probably wouldn't take too much notice to the actual overall carry distances and totals and spin. Maybe take notice of the direction, but distances, maybe wouldn't worry yourself too much about those. So this is obviously one brand of range ball, this is a Wilson range ball. There are others out there, obviously, but if it's a reasonable quality range ball, I suspect they're probably performing somewhere similar to this. Does the range that you practice at provide you with ball data? Is it something that you take any notice of? Let me know in the comments box below. Again, thanks for watching the video. Like, share, and subscribe. I'll see you again in the next one.